Hey, I'm Launders here at IEM San Jose doing interviews on behalf of EasyScans.com. I'm here with uh, AZ of G2, new mem newest member of G2, um, and uh, we're just talking to him right after your first win against uh, CLG. And uh, you know, the match, uh, it was relatively uneventful. I feel like you were in control most of the time. Mirage seemed a little bit difficult. Was that a surprise for you? Yeah, I was a little bit surprised. Yeah. I'm still not used to the English communication. I only played like a few days with these guys, so oh, everything okay. is different. Uh, it'll come with time, I'm 100% sure of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was a little bit lost, if you can say so, on Mirage. Oh, yeah? yeah? Because of the communication? Yeah, it was. it's a bit difficult, but uh, it'll come with time, of course. Mm. It seems like your English is pretty good. Is it? Is it just everybody with a, a different way of speaking or different callouts? Or? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, I, uh, I always, always spoke uh, English in, yeah. in school and on games and stuff like that. So. Mm -hmm. I spoke a lot of English back in the time. So it's like just a difference in the way you guys speak to each other, or like. Yeah, saying? yeah. It was it was a bit stressed on Mirage actually. So, uh. so the communication was a bit, but still, um, I never spoke English on a team before, so that's uh. completely different. I need to know like different new different spots and yeah, yeah, yeah. etc. So that's a lot of new things for me. So did that cost you rounds? Were there rounds where you know a bad call or just a call where you just didn't know what it meant? Where that spot was uh, uh, actually affected the round. Yeah, that w I think that was, but it was on cash, like mm -hmm. under the vents. They had like a spot called Crims or something. I didn't, oh, I had no idea what they, oh, okay. what they were talking about. <laughs> just looking so around. I just for ran crims. like <laughs> straight all the way. So oh, okay, but cool. it will come a time. We only, we didn't never. That's a, we didn't really practice that mm -hmm. much. So. so what's interesting about you um, is that you played for Dignitas, and I think your breakout performance was this best of three that you played against NIP, where I think you dropped two thirties like back to back, like one was on nuke. Oh, and yeah. yeah, you had a lot of clutch rounds. You were on fire that day, obviously. Yeah, right? of course. Um, I thought that was, I think a lot of people thought that that was like Dignitas's ticket. They found the player and you know, they were gonna come up, you know, they, they're still playing with um, uh, a fetish, right? And uh, I think that everybody thought that, okay, this is a chance for you know Dignitas to stop being tier two, to start being tier one. Mm. Um, what happened while you were on the team and what, how did it end? Um, I don't want to blame anyone on the team, but I don't think had the, well, the right way, the roles. Uh, I just got thrown into the game, so mm -hmm. I just took like Caden's B, uh, Caden B's uh, place. So. Mm -hmm. And he was a good player, of course. Uh, it's hard to, f it's big shoes to fill. Big shoes to fill. Yeah. Um, did you did you like Fetish's calling? Yeah, it was okay. Um, it's a complete different style now, of course, but um, it was pretty. Do you think style of Counter Strike or style of calling specifically? Uh, calling, of course. Yeah. It's uh, like the major changes sometimes. Like now, everyone is just like push one 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 one, mm -hmm. like envious and fanatic play yeah. style. Now, um, back then it was much more structured. So yeah, it's way different now. But so was it harder to fill a role back then, or was it just your performances because Cajun B was so good? Was it harder to fill the role because it's so much more structured, so much more specific, how they wanted you to play? Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't think I like fit into his role like completely. I don't know. I don't really know actually. Um, and for the record, were you were you cut or did you leave? Think to pass. I was cut. You're cut. Oh, cut. A lot of people speculated it was because of your age. Yeah. That had anything to do with it? It probably had. Like, I had like, it was of course Stephen Tess was like insane players to play with. Like. Mm -hmm. A big step, of course. Mm -hmm. So I had a lot of pressure and I was a bit nervous, of course. Uh, it wasn't because I was like super bad or anything. I, uh, I was just decent. Mm -hmm. So were you afraid at some point? Uh, you know, that was kind of the premier team in your country, um, and that must have been kind of your big, big opportunity to play. Like a Swedish player getting an NIP, for example. You know, yeah, exactly. Mikael playing for NIP. That must yeah. have been huge. So did that feel like once you were off that team that there was nowhere better to go? Did you feel lost in the mix? Mm, no, actually I just took a break and we actually created a new team with Glaive uh, and Pim mm -hmm. back then. Um, and then it developed to Dignitas now, yeah. as it is now. So, and I did pretty good in Dignitas, I should say so. I had yeah, a, yeah. I had a good uh, month, few months here. Yeah. yeah, they give you a lot of freedom, is that key? Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't really know if it's freedom. Like, if we did, like, we had to play with confidence, of course. So, I did what I like wanted to do. I was sure I couldn't win this duel. Mm -hmm. I would take the duel. 
uh, I was pretty confident, like, all of the time. So that's did you, believe, you know, the team uh, just recently replaced him. Mm -hmm. Did you believe in the roster as it was? Did you see a lot of potential in their, in their future? If they, they've gone through so many roster changes, it feels like the most roster changes of any team, like, in Europe, I think. Yeah. I mean, they have the potential. Um, still, like, for example, Cabby. He's still 17. And he's pretty good, actually. He can be way better. He still has that Shea game. And yeah. I probably get really nervous on events and stuff like that, but it will come with time, of course. Mm -hmm. I was there, and, and I'm not that nervous anymore, but you can feel the pressure, of course, but it will come. Yeah. So how old, how old are you now? I'm 19. 19. So, uh, and you played on Dignitas when you were 17? 18. Uh, 18 in the old days, I was... 18, yeah. 18? Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, you said you didn't feel like uh, once you left the team that you would, you, were, you just weren't worried when you took your break? Did you, uh, were you, did you actually plan on quitting, quitting Counter-Strike? Oh, I'm not quitting. I wouldn't do that. I, uh, I just didn't uh, want to take any like too fast decisions just to, okay, I'm just going to play for that team because there's nothing else. I really just wait it out and see if there's anything going to happen. And that took like the best possibility I could. So. How do you see, what are your chances of winning this tournament today? Uh, I don't think it's low actually, I think it's pretty high. Yeah. Uh, we're a new team, so like we have a lot of momentum and stuff and hype and going into uh, the, the new team spirit, you know. Mm -hmm. So, Rain said that, chance, yeah. Right, you have a chance. Rain said that your, they, he felt your biggest competition was TSM. Yeah. Are you most afraid of TSM yourself? or? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, we rather play Cloud9. Uh, yeah. I see them as like more weak individually. Yeah. Season. Individually, individually as well, yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I rather play Cloud9, but uh, of course, if you want to win the tournament, you've got to beat everyone. So. What do you think, personally, if you pick like one of your, the biggest problems with Cloud9, what would you say is like uh, maybe their biggest problem as a team? As, as someone who's played them? Um, I don't really think I've played Cloud9 that much. I played at the Fuse uh, qualifier. Mm -hmm. and they played actually pretty okay. But I'm not sure what the problem is right now. I just think like they're not stepping up individually. Individually? Everyone, so. Maybe a problem motivation, possibly? Possibly. Uh, I don't really talk that much with uh, Cloud9. Uh, I don't know. I don't know that much insight about, info about them, so I don't know if they have any problems or anything. So. Yeah, it's hard to get insight for any but, of us. So yeah, kind of every curious. team can have like a slump, so mm -hmm. they might just have that slump now and go who's who soon. Yeah, who knows? Cool. Well, thanks for the interview, man, and uh, good luck in your future matches. Yeah, thank you.